last week, I guess, need to, to, to extend one. Just kind of what's yeah. uh, what's what's today like for you heading into tomorrow? Uh, today's I mean today's calm. I don't I mean I don't feel anything today. I'm like a good friend as usual. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean tomorrow'll be it's a little bit different of a stage, obviously more of a crab, bigger bigger uh, situation. But I, I mean the routine is gonna be the same and everything. Nothing's gonna change. Do, do you try to cram and figure out them much, or is it more about what you do tomorrow night? I mean scouting report wise and stuff. How do you turn it around? Yeah, the scouting report definitely helps, but I feel like it's more for coach honestly. Like he'll he'll let us know in the meetings, like okay, whatever these guys, like these guys who are, they'll run if they get on or whatever. Just figure like pitch them inside, whatever, but like it really comes down to, you know, what Coach B calls, and I mean, that's obviously one of the biggest keys to how my success has been. Does anything change for you with the, with the day off in between last night and tomorrow night, routine-wise, or anything? No, not, no, not really. I mean, I normally throw like a little flag ground before I, the day before I go out there, but other than that, no, not really. It's just an extra day of rest, which is, I mean, good in any situation. Facing elimination last week, what, what can you kind of take from like maybe that pressure situation that you've been there before? You guys have kind of come out on top in that situation too. Uh, I mean, it's a good experience. I mean, I, I mean, I like it. It's definitely not. I, don't know, I wouldn't say adding pressure in a bad way. So I mean, I definitely like uh, being given the ball with uh, an opportunity to move us on to the next day, which is obviously what I need to do. You said last night that you just have to put the blinders on and you tune everything out. How do you do that when the stage is this big? I don't know. It's kind of a. Uh, yeah, like I'll have even like even in like games at home, like people in the stand or people uh, in the dugout asking if they can hear. Them, I'm yelling at them. It's just it's just once you get into it, you just tune it all out. Like, do do what you're what you're up there to do, and I mean nothing else is really that important other than Coach B yelling at you from the dugout. So I have to listen to that. <laughs> What's it like? I mean, it's a, it's such a big game where you didn't know who you were going to play until you know 11 o'clock or who you were going to face. And at 11 o'clock could have been TCU, could have been Texas Tech. How do you, as a pitcher, deal with that not knowing the opponent so late uh, into the process? Yeah, I mean, well, for us, it, it really doesn't matter. I feel like for, for the coaches, I think they go out there and they scout. They are, they've already scouted both teams, so they know, like, ahead of time what, what we're going to be up against. But for us, it really doesn't matter who we're going to face or anything like that. We're just going to, the day of the game, go over whatever information they feel like is important to share with us. Do you feel like you're due for some more run support after Chris kind of just left uh, blown in the wind? Yeah, our, our team will do better. I mean, I'm not taking any away from uh, – Kirby, I mean, that kid's unreal, but um, I, I feel like we're going to have a better day tomorrow offensively and stuff like that. I mean, I've, I have faith in our offense. Thanks, Chris.